took her cue towers apart so I could get the adjustment traced out around where the keyhole is. That way. Hide the lock here from the back. Okay, so we're gonna try this and see how that fits. Parking lot, there is no. Three hour drive and uh, and it did perfect. Awesome. It's an awesome rack. Welcome to another episode of Alpine Garage. Today we are going to be talking about roof racks for your Bronco. As you can see, we got a little bit carried away with wanting to get the skis out of the Bronco for our ski trip. So Mandy challenged me and said, uh, I bet you can't make a rack that can fit the skis on top of the Bronco before we go. And that was like one day before we left. Yeah. And of course, I'm not going to back down to a challenge. So we did it and it looks great and we're it happy worked. with it, except for the fact that it's not a permanent solution. We want to have an entire roof rack. And I think all of us with a hard top and probably all of us with a soft top too, are really kind of trying to figure out where this whole roof rack thing is going. Bumpers have come out, people have bumpers on. Uh, skid plates, you name it for the Bronco is already out there and you can buy it. Roof racks are the last thing that seem to be just hanging out there in space. So we're going to pull it all together for you and try to give you a comprehensive view of what is available today here, uh, basically April of 2022. So here we go. And please go down to our website. Our website is actually a fully functional website now. We flipped it over to thealpinegarage.com. And it's a completely different look with completely different stuff. And we have got literally, I think, 15 projects that we have going on in this garage right now. And we list every single one of them and the progress on our webpage. So even though you only see Broncos here and Broncos there, it has everything, including every motorcycle that we're restoring, every camper that we are restoring, and basically a lot of trip information as well. So we're going to group these companies into three categories. The three categories are plate style racks. So if you look at the way that the rack is designed, there are companies that actually, for lack of a better word, CNC or cut uh, the rack stays out of flat pieces of metal either aluminum or steel or in one of the cases both that gives it a very thin profile and it gives it a very lightweight and minimalistic look so that'll be the first category the second category is going to be the kind of the round tube traditional overland style racks that actually frame the entire top of the vehicle so it looks like a really sturdy overlining rack that you're going to put a lot of gear on that is a totally different look than that minimalistic look and there are two companies that make a rack similar to that i like that and then the last one is kind of a fusion of the two, which is kind of a round bar look. So a beefy look, uh, but more of a minimalistic style. Doesn't come down the sides of the Bronco and things like that. So those are the three we're going to break them into. So first is the plate style. So we're going to break these companies into six categories so we can gauge them easily. Yeah, and, and those are going to be price, because obviously price is a big consideration. Weight capacity, dynamic and static. So dynamic, when we talk about dynamic, is when you're actually driving with the gear on the rack, that's a dynamic weight. Static weight is once you're parked and you can get all of your gear either on or actually get inside your tent, so those kind of things, that's the static weight. So how much weight will it totally hold when it's not moving? Then you also have warranty. Warranty is a big factor because you know it's a rack and you're gonna be putting it through a lot of abuse. Construction, so we'll talk about the construction of it, what materials it's made out of, whether it comes with crossbars, where it mounts, those kinds of things. We're going to be talking about one of Mandy's favorite categories. Can I take the roof panels off with the rack on? I mean, that's kind of why I bought the Bronco. Right, and I think that's why it's basically a convertible. So <laughs> yeah. we want to at least be able to take the front and the middle sections off on a four door. And then the last one are going to be our thoughts on that. Now our thoughts are based off of basically either what we've read, what we've seen in the pictures, or what they've told us if we were able to get a hold of them. Right. So that's the six categories. We're going to go through these so you, and we're going to list them out so you can see how they compare. So the plate style rack that we're going to talk about first is the Badass Tents. Badass tents makes some badass tents. They really do. I was surprised to see that they had come out with a Bronco rack and they've, they've had this out for quite a while actually. 
So this was one of the first minimalistic or plate style racks that we looked at. Number one, price. So this one priced out at the max is $14.99. Now $14.99 gets you the full rack and it's gonna be all black. For $100 less, $13.99, you can get black stays with silver crossbars. You can save 100 bucks there and you know the silver doesn't actually look all that bad. And then if you just want the rear rack, so if you just want it to connect to those two notches in the back of the rear cap of the Bronco, uh, and that can work for four door and two door in this case, uh, it's only $599. So if you're just putting bikes on it or if you're just putting skis on it, something like that, that rack might actually work for you very well. Okay, so the weight capacity on this one is 250 to 500. 250 is the dynamic and 500 up to 500 is static. And that's pretty much standard. Uh, most most of these companies are 250 500 there might be a little bit more and there's that uh, one that's but higher. You, there's a lot that I mean there are some that are higher but I would think that if you were to look at any roof rack 250 and 500 would be a good goal to have either way the ones that are rated higher than that just remember that when you have that much on the rack and you make a you know a turn around a, a big turn going at 60 miles an hour you're gonna have a lot more lean in the Bronco and uh, and when you're off-roading it's going to be uh, harder on the Bronco that way too. So just, I, th I would think that 250, 500 would be a really good place to start. Warranty on this one is three years, which is not bad. Yeah, I would take I mean, three years. Some of them don't have a stated warranty. Yeah. So having a no three year warranty <laughs> on it, I think that would be a good peace of mind. Right. Construction, aluminum and steel plate. So they don't specifically go into details and we try to call Badass Tents to get more information. We try to email them also and we didn't get a return call, we did not get a return email. So I'm sure they're just really busy like all these manufacturers are and they're gonna get back to us. So uh, I don't have those specifics at the time, but if they do get back to us, we plan on having a follow-up video to this as well, which will have kind of an updated version of this once everybody's able to call us back and we can get more details. Maybe even when people start receiving them and we get feedback from it. So on this rack, the roof panels are able to come off, which is nice because that's the whole reason why I bought the Bronco. To me, it's like a convertible. Thoughts on this rack. The plated racks are the most minimalistic racks made. Uh, I am a minimalist at heart, so I think that these type of racks really speak to me because I don't really want a lot of wind noise and I don't want the rack to be overpowering on the vehicle. It states on their website that this rack will not affect fuel economy very much, so that's a positive note. It also won't affect wind noise very much, and that's positive as well because wind <laughs> noise on the hard tops and, and especially the soft, top, soft tops on these can be a little bit much. You already have noise. <laughs> right, you already have noise and you know it's going to be that way because it's a removable top. It is also 3.125 inches tall, which makes it from an advertising standpoint anyway, one of the lowest racks to the vehicle of any rack made right now. Again, giving it that minimalist look. Modro? Mod modular. 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 Say modular say three times. Modular. 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 This is gonna be good for the outtakes. <laughs> <laughs> modular. Second is a Valkyrie four-door module. <laughs> I can't say that word. Okay. The Just second say. one in the plate design is going to be the Valkyrie Off-Road four-door modular rack. This rack is, I think, an incredible value. At $1,286.95. Get you the whole Not rack. including shipping. Yeah, get you the whole rack. So this rack is modular. And modular means, uh, after talking to them, this is one of the companies that we were able to get a hold of. And we actually got a hold of them twice. They answered immediately and super, super helpful on the phone. This rack will go from a full rack to a half rack just by unscrewing a few screws. Taking the front rack off, you can have that rear rack. The rear rack looks really nice. And I, I'm gonna say short of artwork, it looks really nice. It's anodized so that it, it's kind of two different colors. The one in the picture shows red anodized and black. So, and it may be powder coated, but it looks anodized. Anyway, it looks really nice. And I think it looks really classy on the Bronco. And kudos to you, Valkyrie, you guys did a great job. The weight limit is 250 for dynamic and 550 for static, which is just a little bit more than a badass tent. Uh, it could be very similar to the badass tents, but they rated it higher, so there you go. They did something where they designed it to where it's, it holds 50 more pounds of weight, uh, which is not inconsequential. If you think about the gear that you put in your tent, if you have a rooftop tent, 50 pounds could be a heater, it could be, you know, a lot of a other dog. things, food, a dog, <laughs> right, it could be a dog. There's a check mark for the Valkyrie right there is in the weight. On warranty, there is no formal 
warranty on this one, but when we talked to them, they did say that they would honor the warranty of any manufacturer defects. So not stating a warranty may not be a big deal right now. It may just be that if there's anything that doesn't match up on the rack correctly out of the manufacturing part of it, uh, they, would, they would take care of it. Uh, we actually talked to a representative of Valkyrie and they specifically stated we would honor any manufacturer's defects on the unit. So that, that is good enough for me. I think that's a stand up thing to say. Now this is an all aluminum construction. They didn't mention anything about steel in the comments. It's 5052 aluminum. It is a plate style like the badass tents. So it's low profile aerodynamic, probably is gonna have less wind noise. Uh, and it definitely looks more minimalistic. And with the anodized color differentiation or powder coated differentiation, whatever it is that, that they did here, makes the rack look really super nice. I would almost hate to put anything on the rack to not show the rack because the rack <laughs> looks that nice. The roof rack panels do come off on this one as well. And our thoughts on this rack. So this rack is sexy. I'm gonna use that <laughs> word. I'm gonna use the word sexy. I could not stop looking at this rack. I think I would just put this rack on just for pictures. Uh, if I, in fact, I could get one of those racks just to take pictures of the Bronco, I would do that. Uh, I think it's the most finished rack. It looks very clean and neat. If you were to put a few lights on it and some small things, I think it would really make your Bronco stand out. The other thing I will say about it is the modular part of it, which means you can take the front rack off and just leave that rear rack, is what we would probably do during winter because we're not going to do a lot of... We're going to do some winter camping. In fact, we want to go during one of our... Yeah. You know, really deep woods winters where we have a blizzard where we get like four <laughs> feet in the mountains. It would be cool to get the Bronco in there and then like shack up inside the tent, brave that storm, and then pop out the next day and do a little bit of backcountry skiing. Likely, it's going to be primarily just the ski rack on there in the winter. So being able to take the front off, just having the ski rack on there in the winter makes a lot of sense to me. The last thought about Valkyrie is we called them twice and twice they answered the phone, and it was the same gentleman that answered, and he was super informative, super nice. Uh, it sounds to me like you're gonna get very good customer service from this company. Now for the overlanding style racks that we have two of that we're gonna talk about. And when we say overlanding, that's not how they categorize them. That's just how we are categorizing them in our head to decide how we want the Bronco to look, and also you know, what functionality we want from the Bronco. So when we're saying overlanding style, it's just you can definitely tell with the tubularness of this and the fact that they wrap around the vehicle that these things look Ladder. like they are, yeah, they are meat. They're like a big piece of meat on your Bronco and they will make that Bronco look super tough. Like they're flexing out the Bronco with these That's overlanders. what I like. He likes a different style. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I like both, actually. I think they both would look really good. Uh, I just, when I picture the Bronco, I picture them both differently. So, but Mandy is definitely an Overland style rack person uh, because she likes to go deep in there and take everything we own out there because, you know, we like to do tons of different stuff. So let's get into these racks. The first rack in this category is going to be the Overland Vehicle Systems King Four Wheel Drive four-door Bronco rack. Now this rack is going to be the cheapest of the group. That would be $999. $999. So if you see us laughing off <laughs> when we come into a shot, it's because of something that's really funnily said right before we go into what we're saying. But we were able to get in contact with them today and we had one of the nicest conversations that we've had with a representative from one of these companies. So Overland Vehicle Systems, thank you. Now this company makes racks for a lot of different vehicles. They've been around for a while. This rack is probably the one rack that is in the most design phase, meaning that they didn't really have a lot of information about it because they're trying something different than any other rack company right now. And we'll tell you what that is. But they're saying that the dynamic weight is gonna be somewhere between 300 and 450 pounds, which blows away practically anybody else. And they're stating that the static capacity could be as high as 1,350 pounds. That's a lot. And now that blows your mind. <laughs> and after she said that, she said, uh, keep in mind, this is based off of their freedom racks, which are basically truck racks right. uh, that are rated at 1,350 pounds. And the reason why is because if you look at the pictures, the actual back of the rack, instead of being mounted to the hardtop, is actually looks like it's trying to be mounted underneath the hardtop between the hardtop and the body. And they even mentioned that it has something to do with a roll bar possibly. So that makes sense. If it's not gonna be mounted directly to the roof in the back, 
then I can see the capacity going up. Maybe not 1,350 pounds, but if, yeah, if it's above 600. They beat everybody else. So. Um, <laughs> well, they're going to beat most of the other racks out there. So not to mention that, you know, it makes for probably the most solid rack of its kind at this point. So this one has a four year warranty, which is one of the best ones out there. Definitely the best stated warranty out there. So this construction on this rack is all powder coated steel, which I think is another reason why they're kind of thinking that the capacities of this rack are actually going to be higher than most other racks. It's all power coated, which makes it real durable. And this is just a super interesting rack. Unfortunately, this is the only one that you cannot take the rooftop off with the rack on. So it's almost like a true overlining style. Right. You're probably not going to take the top off and drive around with it. The reason why you can't take the top off is because the rack actually wraps around, around. the hard top, which makes it really easy to add accessories onto. So you can add pod lights on there. Uh, you can add a uh, an awning on there pretty easily, probably. So our thoughts on this one? I do like the way it looks because it is beefier. But yeah, pro probably the most yeah. beefy rack out. Well, yeah. probably tied for the most beefy rack. Right, out. right, right. We were we still have another one. <laughs> right, and but I will say that they're still testing this. They were very adamant on the phone, as nice as they were, yeah. that the information that they were giving us is uh, kind I'm of a precursor. Phase to what the real information is going to be. So this is, I'm just putting this out there just like anyone would call and ask these questions. I believe them when they say that they're gonna get up there over, or at least close to a thousand in their static weight based on uh, the construction of it. And if they can somehow pull off getting underneath that back top and mounting that in there without, right. so here's, I'm just gonna take a caveat here. My engineering mind says, if you put a spacer in there, that hard top now is raised up. How are you going to fill that gap around that rest of that? How is that going to fit with the rear door? And how is the rest of the top going to match that and the window seal correctly? If they can pull this off, this is going to be pretty unbelievable. I am lo really looking forward to seeing what happens with this rack. And lastly, again, great communication over the phone. Customer service for this company, I would rate as one of the highest. So the second of the overlanding so-called <clears throat> racks would be the Gobi rack. And Gobi is, uh, <laughs> so here's a funny story about Gobi. We were driving to Beaver Creek, Colorado on a ski trip just a few days ago, and we passed a Bronco going the other direction on I-70 outside of Georgetown. <laughs> and it had, I, I'm 100% sure, Yes. I'm 95% sure, that it was Gobi's rack. rack, that it was, and it was the blue Bronco that they showed the Gobi rack on. So I think it was actually Gobi that was had their rack on their Bronco going somewhere. <laughs> but at first we thought, because it looks very similar to the Overland Vehicle Systems rack, that's who I thought it was. Uh, but when we looked it up, we found Gobi on there, and Gobi is actually out of Aurora, Colorado, and they're based right on I-70 in Colorado. So I think that had to have been them. Yeah. We still haven't determined whether that was them or not. But I can tell you this much, I still have a little bit of whiplash from looking at that rat going 70. He, they were going 70, we were going 70, and I caught a glimpse of it. But that glimpse is in my mind now. I got that, uh, found them on the website. Their rack looks amazing. Uh, it's still not available, but it actually comes out today on April 1st. So if you wanted to back order that, go to their website and back order that thing. Okay, so the price on this one is $1,995. That is the most expensive of all of the racks. And uh, we haven't talked about shipping. I haven't actually yeah. talked to anybody there. Uh, we have been emailing back and forth, but I haven't gotten a lot of details yet. Uh, they're probably insanely busy with the release today of the of the rack. That two thousand dollars does come with two crossbars and one ladder. Gobi's been making racks for a long time, right. uh, and you can see them on a lot of you know Jeeps and um, you know Forerunners and things like that. It's, it seems to be a very modular system. You can add things to it as you go along. So the weight capacity on this one is three hundred dynamic and eight hundred static. Wow! <laughs> so. That one is not theoretical. They actually have that one posted. Now, it's not posted on their website. If you go to their website and you look at Bronco racks on their website, uh, A, it's kind of hard to find, but when you do finally find the Bronco rack, there's no information on it. We were able to find a spec sheet for it. That's gonna be on our website, uh, which is linked below, thealpinegarage.com, and you can see the specs for that. But man, those details that they put into that spec sheet are amazing. 
So anyway, 300, 800, that's the highest of all of the racks stated, meaning that it's possible that the Overland Vehicle Systems is going to have a higher rating on it, but they're not sure about the S, so that one's not completely stated. But Gobi has stated it. It's probably based off some of the other racks that they're building anyway for Jeeps and stuff, so they probably know what the rack capacity is on that. So I think that's probably a little more solid. On this one, there is no stated warranty on it that we found. So it's, um, it's, it's probably, probably similar to Valkyrie. Right. You know, it's Factory. And, and Gobi yes. may have a factory warranty, meaning right. that, you know, it didn't state it on the spec sheet, but Gobi in general has a factory warranty. But I mean, they've been around for a long time. So I would imagine that if there's any there's issues there. with manufacturing or something, they'll probably take care of it. When we do actually get a hold of them, we will update this video with another video with more specs on it, basically. Or we'll add it to our website onto that page as well. The construction of the Gobi rack, very similar to the Overland Vehicle Systems rack, is it's all steel. It also has, the way that it's built, it's mounted to the A-pillar. So basically the frame of the, of the Bronco. And then it also is stated that it mounts to an OEM place down below the bumper is what it looks like. There's an extension that goes down and I could be wrong on this. I'm just looking at pictures because again, I haven't talked to anybody about this, but it looks like it's physically mounted to OEM places on the Bronco. So there's no drilling involved and it looks like it'd be a real stable build. This rack just looks amazing to yeah. me. Yeah, and the roof panels do come off even though it is kind of an Overland style wrap around the whole vehicle. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Then that would be a great attribute to this rack. Now, our thoughts on this rack. It is beefy looking. Beef! It's beef. <laughs> and I like. Yeah, it's, it's one of the taller racks. It's, you know, looking at the specs, it shows that it's five and a half inches tall uh, off the top of the roof, which is one of the taller racks. But because it's an Overland style rack, I understand that. It'll accommodate up to a 52 inch bar, light bar on the front. And it's got two mounting spots for pod lights on the back as well. And then if you look at the side, obviously you can mount lights to it on the side using various mounting techniques from manufacturers that built pod lights. And again, we we're passing it on the highway and it stuck out. It, 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 yeah. I mean, it, we actually saw the rack before we saw it was on a Bronco. That's how nice the rack was, is that we, it, my, my brain, I think, first told me this was a Jeep. And then yeah. after I saw the rack, I looked see. down and saw a Bronco as it sped by me and it just blew me away. That PDF is awesome. You need to check that PDF out on our website because there's a lot of data on there. With it being released today, you might ought to go ahead and throw down for this thing. So the third type of rack is gonna be kind of a combination of all of them. It's a round tube style rack, but it doesn't kind of crawl all over the Bronco. It's still kind of centered on the top, mounted into the OEM mounting surfaces of the Bronco. And that one is the Z-Roads. Now the Z-Roads rack was the first one we saw. It was the first one we fell in love with and still one of our favorites. If you look at this rack, it just looks extremely well made. The price on this one is the second most expensive, and it is right at $1,889.50. And 50 50 cents. Cents. <laughs> so that 50 cents, I love that. <laughs> I love that about you guys, that, that's awesome. At this point being the second most expensive, it's a very substantial rack. So I'm thinking, man, this thing's almost like 2,000 bucks but it comes with free shipping. When we asked about shipping, they said, we will get it to you without cost. So at that point, you know, we weren't asking for a rack or anything. So I'm assuming anybody that calls would get that same, would get that same information. I think this looks like a $2,000 rack all day long. Kudos to you guys. The weight on this one is 240 dynamic and then 570 for static. So a little higher than the rest, right? Right. But then they also put another factor in there, which is the off-roading weight. So their off-roading weight says 195. So they have already taken into account that when you're off-road, off-camber, bouncing the thing around a lot, it's probably gonna reduce that weight just a little bit that that rack can hold dynamically. Correct. So if you were to take that, and in my head, and I'm pretty sure in y'all's heads too, that that makes sense. So if you were to extrapolate that right across the board, that is roughly a 15, 20% weight re reduction for off-roading in these vehicles. So take that into account. At this point, no one really, really knows how what's gonna happen, but, but do take that into account. So this one has a three-year warranty. It's and most of them warranty. are about three to four years. Yeah, all steel construction, very similar to some of the others. Tubular steel, looks like they have clean welds, mounts onto the OEM, um, spots on the on the Bronco so it'll, it'll fit right onto the A-pillar mounts where you would normally put like pod lights and stuff like that or bar light at the top. 
it fits onto there and then it mounts onto the two rear mounting holes. So uh, it looks like a really clean, really easy way to set this up if you look at the way that this mounts and just totally clean. So on this one, do the roof panels actually come off? They state that it doesn't. However, down in the comments, someone was able to do it. So maybe? Yeah, it looks like you can. I think that probably surprised you a little bit. <laughs> if you look at the way the rack is built, I, I couldn't see any reason why they wouldn't come right. off if you were really delicate about the way that you were taking them off. But yeah, someone in the comments did specifically state they were able to get those off. So someone actually the has this rack that's out there, so that's good. Now our thoughts on this one. This, this is a sexy rack. And that stated, and I don't use the word sexy a lot except for obviously, no. obviously this. Stop. Sexy is good. People like sexy. And I think they built a really nice looking rack that kind of, it, it's not super beefy to the point where it overplays the Bronco. Uh, but with the round tubing, it looks beefy enough to where it looks like it's built for off-road use. They did state that it includes shipping. So even though it is a little higher than some, it also doesn't cost you anything to ship. So if you were to add shipping to the other racks, it, it would probably be close in price anyway. So, so there's that to think about. Their customer service, they picked up the phone when we called them. And actually, I've been in communication with them since November of last year. And for the most part, they have answered emails and picked up the phone. So I would think that Z-Roads is probably one of the better customer service Bronco rack companies out there. We still have Ford to do. Oh. Last but not Let's least, the almighty Ford does have a rack now. Yeah, For Ford. us that didn't get a rack in the first place. <laughs> well, when we first reserved our Bronco, it showed a full roof rack. And so we were like, hey man, this is great. We're roof rack people. We yes have Yakima <laughs> parts, as you can tell by the rack. We have Yakima parts. I think we're a Yakima warehouse in here now because I've had 50 different vehicles and I've had every Yakima piece for 50 different vehicles. Uh, but that's kind of how I knew how to fabricate those clips, by the way. Turns out, obviously, the roof rack was not available on the four-door and then it took until recently for them to actually put it on the website showing it. So the price on this one is $825 which is the least expensive out of all of them. And of course, if you have your Ford Pass points, you may be able to get this free. Yeah, we could get a free rack. We could right now yeah. <laughs> order it and get a free rack. They're not available currently. Most of these are not available right now. If you bought them, they probably wouldn't be able to ship them. Most of these will be available by summer. And I'm assuming that would be the Ford in Ford's case right. as well. Weight capacity, we don't know. Right. There's no specs that I can find. Not yet. Warranty? We don't know. There's no specs. Construction? We don't know, but I'm assuming it's like a composite plastic, something or other. Mm -hmm. Maybe with a little bit of steel on the inside. I mean, it looks like every factory rack that ever came on any SUV in the history of SUVs. Right. Thoughts? <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. I don't know how many people are actually going to spend their money on this roof rack. Um, and then at that point, there's probably going to be clips that you can buy to modify things to go on there, like ski racks and bike racks and things like that. So for everyday use around town, hauling things or bikes or skis or whatever, I think this rack is going to be more than adequate. If you're trying to put a rooftop tent on this, I don't know that that's the roof rack maybe that you would want. But then again, again, a free rack, maybe you would. I'm not going to, I'm not going to diss this rack because so far the Bronco has been very impressive. So I'm assuming that the accessory that they're building for is gonna be equally as impressive. The note that's on there says that it won't work for 2.7 liter engines or Badlands. So here goes that little tagline again where it says that it's not available for or won't work with it. We all know that the, the engine has nothing to do with the fitment of the rack. So obviously this is a weight issue I'm, I'm assuming. Um, so you could ignore that if you want to or listen to Ford and you can't put anything on your roof as far as I'm concerned. Challenge accepted. And when you're looking for it on Ford's website, obviously I'm going to have all of these linked below, but it's not on the, if you go to the Ford Bronco page, it's not on there. You have to actually go to the accessories page in order to find this. So mm -hmm. th that, it may have been on there for longer than we thought. So I'm assuming this rack is, is new to the page. Now the last thing about this rack, and this is just me, I am absolutely wrong on this 100%, but in my head, if you look at the two-door rack and you look at the four-door rack, <laughs> other than being one part number off, they're literally one digit off on part number, the racks look identical. And what I mean by that is if you look at the two-door, they mount on the front A-pillar like the, the rest back. of them, and then they mount on the back hook of the hardtop. 
If you look at the four door, it mounts on the front pillar and it mounts on the front hook of the hardtop. Is that just me that it looks like they took a two door and just moved it forward? <laughs> it's possible, but I doubt it because otherwise they would have come up with this a long time ago. But I just thought it was anecdotally funny and I laughed about it for a little bit when I looked at it. And then I realized, no, Ford, Ford is way smarter than that. So, but in any case, that rack does not extend all the way to the back of the Bronco. It just goes to that front hook, just so that you're aware of that. So this was a lot of work to get together, but hopefully this information will help you decide on the rack you want. Yeah, and, and at this point, we I think it confused us more than it, uh, than no. it helped us. But because there's so many good things about all of them, even the Ford rack being as inexpensive as it is, I mean, that would be a free rack to us. And then we could build a base off of it. So Thanks. we have all of these ideas and none of them that I can tell are imminently available today. Even though we have a lot of uh, kind of off-road trips and overlanding coming up for this summer, we are going to take probably another 30 days to figure out which one works best for our rig. As you can tell, we haven't been quick to jump out there and throw bumpers and all this other stuff on it because we're still not sure what we want this Bronco to be. And we're putting so much work into getting the 73 up and running and, and get that going. And 74. Right, and all of these companies are just breaking their backs and working overtime to try to get this stuff out. We wanna see what else comes out. And also, when these do become available, um, at that point we'll make our decision. We'll put a roof rack on there and then we will go light speed into our next series, which is a bomber series here. You're gonna love it. Just make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, because this summer we are blowing up like an atomic bomb. And I think you're gonna really enjoy it. You're gonna to get to see parts of Colorado you didn't even know existed. And that's a wrap for Alpine Garage. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Check out our other videos on the end screen and give us some love. And if you hung out this long in the video, we're gonna show you our crib sheet because there's no way that we would be able to, to give you this information without this. No, don't do that. I'm going to. Why? Because it was a lot of hard work. So we basically wrote everything out and exactly what we have going. If you want a picture of this, we're gonna put it on Instagram so you can kind of see all the specs. Thanks.